Hello friends, I am Gaurav Kumar and welcome back to another video tutorial by Tech Guide. So today in this video lecture we will going to discuss mutation. This may on specific spontaneous mutation go brief discuss karenge. Before we going to discuss spontaneous mutation, we will going to discuss brief overview regarding mutation and the discoveries then after other five classification of mutation. So today's video going on very interesting level. Stay tuned with us and enjoy in this video lecture. So let us start with overview of mutation. What is mutation? Simply we can define sudden change occurring in hereditary material which is DNA known as a mutation. This change may be natural or by causing agent called them a mutagen. In other word we can say uh, refers to heritable change in a phenotype of an individual. It means due to changes in a DNA expression of genes which define as a phenotype it may be changed in individual. In the molecular term permanent and relatively rare change in number or sequence of nucleotide define as a mutation. So these three are easy definition of mutation. Now who first discovered mutation? In 1791 Wright was identified in a male lamb which had short leg. Here lamb is synonym of a sheep. Other discoveries reported by Hugo Debris in 1900 in Onethra. Here Onethra is a genus of North American herbs or a plant which have yellow flowers with erect buds. And third discoveries by Morgan in 1910 finds white eyes in a Drosophila and several other organisms. Last main important thing the term mutation was coined by Debris. So this is brief overview regarding mutation. Now we will going to discuss classification of mutation. So mainly five classification of mutations are there. First is based on causes of mutation. Second based on survival of an individual. Third based on tissue of origin. Fourth is based on direction of mutation. And last fifth is a type of trait affected. So let us get overview regarding this all classification. First, based on causes of mutation. This basis per again two types are spontaneous mutation and induced mutation. Spontaneous mutation, which naturally occurs without any causing agents, and the rate of this mutation is very slow. In eukaryotes, higher than prokaryotes. Here, one important term that is mutation rate, which we briefly discuss. Karte hai. Here it defines comparison of genes which enhance the mutation. Mainly three types of genes are there based on rate, mutable genes, mutator genes and anti-mutator genes. Mutable genes define higher mutation rate than others and the example is white eyes in Drosophila. Second mutator genes which enhance the natural mutation rate of other genes and the example is dotted genes in a Maze. Last anti mutator genes, which defines some genes, decreases the frequency of spontaneous mutation, referred as an anti mutator gene. And the example such gene has been reported in the bacteria and bacteriophage. In this video, we will briefly discuss on this type of spontaneous mutation. After this, overview of mutation classification. Next, second type is induced mutation. Mutation which produced by physical, chemical or biological agents called them a induced mutation and here agents define as a mutagens. In next video, we will going to discuss induced mutations. Second classification based on survival of an individual. Five types are there. First, lethal mutation, which causes death of all individuals. Second, sublethal define 90% chance of death in individual. Third, subvital mutations. Mutation kills less than 90% individuals define subvital mutation. Fourth, vital mutation, which don't affect the survival of an individual. Last, fifth, supervital mutations. Enhance the survival of individual known as supervital mutation. So here we understand concept behind lethal and vital. 
Lethal is dangerous and causing death of an organism while vital isn't affect on survivability of an organism. So this is all about of second classification. Third classification based on tissue of origin. Again two types are there somatic mutation and gametic mutations. Mutations occurs in a somatic cell defined as a somatic mutations. Here somatic cells includes nerve cells, muscle cells and blood cells. In asexually reproducing species, mutation transmits from one progeny to next progeny. Second, gametic mutation. When mutation occurs in gametic cells, defined as a gametic mutations. In gametic cell include sperm cells and ova. In sexually reproductive species, germinal mutations is transmitted to next generation. Next, fourth classification based on direction of mutations. Two types are there forward and the reverse mutations. When mutations occurs from normal or wild type allele to mutant allele defined as a forward mutation and when mutations occur reverse direction it means from mutant allele to normal or wild type of allele defined as a reverse mutations. Last fifth classification is based on type of threat affected. Two types are there visible mutation and biochemical mutation. When mutation affects on phenotype character which is detected by normal observation defined as a visible mutation In biochemical mutation which does not show any phenotype character or can't detected by normal observation due to the production of biochemical is known as a biochemical mutation. So this is all about top 5 classification of mutations. Now we will come on our topic spontaneous mutation which is classified based on causes of mutation. As we discussed earlier in classification, spontaneous mutation occurs naturally without any cause and the rate of mutation is very slow specifically in prokaryotes whereas in eukaryotes the rate is high. Here you can see flow chart of first classification. Spontaneous mutation again classified into two sub classification. First is point mutation and second is chromosomal mutation. Point mutation again classify in substitution and a frame shield. Substitution in which two types transition and transversion are there. In chromosomal mutation again two types are there based on variation in chromosomal number and a change in a structure. Chromosomal mutation we will discuss later. We will discuss point mutation defines change in a single nucleotide called point mutation. Point mutation again classified into two substitution and a frame shift. When one base pair is replaced by a different base pair, define that type of mutation is substitution. And when insertion and deletion of an amino acid results in a translation of incorrect amino acids called stop codons, which stops the protein synthesis and form shorter and longer polypeptide chain, define them frame shift mutation. In substitution, transition and transversion two types are there. First transition, when purine nucleotide changes to other purine nucleotide and same in pyrimidine nucleotide changes to other pyrimidine nucleotide, define transition. Here you can see thymine replaced by cytosine which is pyrimidine to pyrimidine transfer and adenine replaced by guanine which is purine to purine transfer. Four types of transition are there, adenine to guanine guanine to adenine, thymine to cytosine and cytosine to thymine. Second type in substitution is transversion defines when purine nucleotide changes to another pyrimidine or vice versa define them as transversion. Eight types of transversion are there. Here you can see in pyrimidine to purine transfer thymine is replaced by adenine, thymine is replaced by guanine. Same in case of cytosine, cytosine is replaced by guanine and cytosine is replaced by adenine. In purine to pyrimidine transfer, adenine is replaced by thymine, adenine is replaced by cytosine, same in case of guanine, guanine is replaced by cytosine and guanine is replaced by thymine. Next, frame shift mutation. As we discussed earlier, deletion and insertion results in a translation of incorrect amino acids called stop codon which results in shorter and a longer polypeptide chains defined as a frame shift mutation. Here you can see glutamine is added 
डिफेंस बेज इंसर्शन फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन एंड इन बेज डिलेशन आर्जिनिन इज रिमूव्ड सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ऑफ पॉइंट म्यूटेशन एंड वैन इंसर्शन एंड डिलेशन ऑफ एन एमिनो एसिड्स रिजल्ट इन ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ इन करेक्ट एमिनो एसिड्स कॉल्ड स्टॉप कॉडन विच स्टॉप द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस एंड फॉर्म शॉर्टर एंड लॉन्गर पॉलीपेप्टाइड चेन डिफाइन दैम फ्रेम शिफ्ट म्यूटेशन हेयर यू कैन सी Now we will going to discuss second type of spontaneous mutation, which is chromosomal mutation. It's again classified based on variation in chromosomal number and change in structure. So let us discuss first variation in a chromosomal number. In this type, one new term is added, ploidy, which covers uh, complete this type of chromosomal mutation. Ploidy defines as number. of sets of homologous chromosomes in the genome of cell or an organism defined as a ploidy here you can see two types of ploidy are there first is euploidy and second is aneuploidy euploidy further classified in two three monoploidy diploidy and polyploidy polyploidy again into two types there are autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy another aneuploidy which again classified into two hypopolyploidy and hyperpolyploidy in hypopolyploidy monosomy and nullosomy are there in hyperpolyploidy trisomy and tetrasomy are there now we briefly discuss these all ploidy types euploidy defines correct sets of chromosome or entire sets of chromosome in a cell classified into three types monoploidy diploidy and polyploidy monoploidy as name suggest single set of chromosome diploidy defines two sets of chromosome and in polyploidy define as a more than two complete sets of chromosome like triploidy defines three sets of chromosome and tetraploidy defines four sets of chromosome polyploidy again classified into two when multiple set of chromosome that are derived from same species called them a autopolyploidy and when multiple set of chromosome that are derived from different species called them a allopolyploidy now we'll see another second type in ploidy that is aneuploidy defines variation in the number of chromosome called them a aneuploidy it again classified in hypoploidy and hyperploidy when one or more number of chromosome is lost called them a hypoploidy further two types are there monosomy and nullosomy when one single chromosome is lost is called as a monosomy and right as a 2n minus 1 and when one homologous chromosome is lost called them a nullosomy and right as a 2n minus 2 here 2n stands as two sets of chromosome which mainly observed in a diploid organism second type in aneuploidy which is hyperploidy defines addition of one or more chromosome further two types are there trisomy and tetrasomy when single extra chromosome is added called them a trisomy and right as a 2n plus 1 and second tetrasomy when extra pair of chromosome is added called them a tetrasomy and right as a 2n plus 2 here one important point in trisomy when any organism affect or having trisomy on different number of chromosome a set of symptoms occurs in an organism called them a syndrome likewise trisomy on 13 number of chromosome cause tau syndrome small eyes mental retardedness and condition where man will dies within 3 months these are symptoms of trisomy on 13 number tau syndrome another trisomy on 18 number of chromosome cause edward syndrome development of retardedness and a condition where man will dies within 6 months these are symptoms of edward syndrome another trisomy on 20 21 number of chromosome cause down syndrome so this is all about of variation in the number of chromosomal number type of a chromosomal mutation second type in chromosomal mutation which is change in a structure four types are there deletion duplication inversion and translocation let us discuss one by one first deletion when any segment of chromosome is lost happens due to loss of genetic material here you can see 
इट कैन बी अकर्स ऑन अ टर्मिनल और टॉप एंड इंटरकैलरी और एंड पोजिशन ऑफ क्रोमोजोम डिलेशन इन फिफ्थ नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम अ डिजीज अकर कॉल्ड क्राइडू चार्ट एंड वैन डिलेशन अकर्स इन अ ट्वेंटी टू नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम अ सेट ऑफ सिम्टम्स हैविंग डिसीज फिलाडेल्फिया सिंड्रोम इज हैपन्स सेकेंड डुप्लीकेशन वैन एन सेगमेंट ऑफ क्रोमोजोम इज डबल्ड ड्यू टू अनइक्वल क्रॉसिंग ओवर अ कंडीशन अकर्स कॉल्ड एम अ डुप्लीकेशन हेर यू कैन सी दिस पार्ट इज डबल्ड थर्ड इन्वर्जन वैन अ सेगमेंट ऑफ क्रोमोजोम इज रीओरिएटेड एट वन एटी डिग्री दैट कंडीशन डिफाइन एज ए इन्वर्जन टू ब्रेकेज रिक्वायर फॉर रीओरिएटेशन हियर वैन रीओरिएटेशन अकर्स एंड टू एंड और नियर टू सेंट्रोम ईयर कॉल इज एम अ पैरासेंट्रिक इन्वर्जन एंड वैन रीओरिएटेशन अकर्स इंक्लूडिंग सेंट्रोम ईयर कॉल इज एम अ पैरासेंट्रिक इन्वर्जन हियर यू कैन सी इन अ पैरासेंट्रिक रीओरिएटेशन अकर्स near to centromere position and in a pericentric reorientation happens including centromere last fourth translocation when a segment of chromosome changes its position called them a translocation this condition happens due to exchange of segment between non homologous chromosome here non homologous chromosome define as a length of arms and position of centromere is different define as a non homologous chromosome Here you can see this segment of chromosome changes its position. This is all about top spontaneous mutation. In next video we will going to discuss induced mutation. So here we completed our topic. I hope you enjoyed very well and got it very well. Thanks for watching and if you want to get more and more interactive video regarding the life science and biotech course so join with us by clicking on subscribe button and press the bell icon never miss an update. Thank you so much friends.